Good evening. Thank you for joining us. The trial of the man accused of tampering with evidence and the murder of two state troopers went to the jury today and they will continue deliberating tomorrow. Stephanie Woodard reports from Ninana. After five days, the trial of Arvin Kangas came to a close this morning. Both the prosecution and defense had closing arguments in front of a jury of 14, seven men and seven women. Arvin Kangas is facing three counts of felony tampering with physical evidence. He faces up to five years on each count. From the time of the shooting, or shortly thereafter, those shots being fired, he began a mission to try to make the situation better for Nathaniel. It was up to the prosecution to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Arvin committed those crimes. The most prominent piece of evidence of what happened in those three minutes that's, that can't be affected by what people think um, and their perception is the tape recorder. You have to be convinced before you can convict. You have to be convinced of a couple of things. There's about the instructions, certainly. But you have to be convinced that there was not an attempt on the part of Cooper Rich. One thing that was touched on was the credibility of Arvin Kangas and the witnesses who took the stand. The defense talked about the blame lying on Nathaniel Kangas rather than his father, Arvin. Who's saying, who's, who's saying that this was to defend his father? Is it Arvin Kangas planning this idea? No. I submit if you listen to it, you'll hear it's Nathaniel, Nathaniel Kangas saying he's doing it to protect his dad. During closing arguments, they touched on the next trial to be held at the end of this year for Nathaniel Kangas. He's faced with the alleged murder of both the troopers inside the Tannenall residence. And Mr. Kangas doesn't need to know if it would have been a great defense for Nathaniel Kangas to advance in his trial. He was defending his dad. I'm Stephanie Woodard reporting from Ninana.